Right, so I did say the other day that I was going to make a Kydex sheath for this knife. Well, I've made this one. I'll bring the camera closer so you can see it better in a minute. Um, I got, I've got to remember all this stuff to say. I got the proper Kydex, eyelets, rivets, and the setting tool from knifekits.com. I had to pay customs charge, but that's nothing to do with knife kits, that's our UK border force. So anyway, I got those, and I'd also ordered some Kydex, which I have got that as well, that's down here. I've got some more Kydex from eBay. So this is what I've made so far. Just gonna bring the camera closer into the light a bit more. You can see it a bit better. So that's what I've made so far. I think I might still need a bit of practice. These are set good, but I think I need a bit of practice setting them to look better if you know what I mean one of them came out looking perfect the other three not you know they're not as good as the other one anyway and that was the modified halter for HD I did make one of these before and it was so tight I could never get it out and that was partly I think due to the massive size there of that, of the hilt or whatever you call it, or the finger guard, the massive size of that, it just makes it so hard to get in and out of Kydex. So that's why it was better to cut it down. It looks better to be honest as well, and it still does the same job. Right, so... I am in a minute, this time, going to show you the making of it, but it is going to be in time lapse because, a couple of reasons, one is when I'd, I've already made the sheaf, right, and it was 40 minutes long, the making of, so that's going to have to be time lapse, but you'll get the idea of what to do by watching it, and also, I've done another weird one, as I made it, I had the radio playing and I'd already uploaded these videos the other day and I got three copyright strikes instantly as soon as they was uploaded they somehow knew they had the radio playing so I had to delete them and I took the sound off, I was going to take the sound off anyway because I knew the radio was on it but so I had to take the sound off and you know so I don't get these copyright strikes so in a minute I'm going to show that also, I'm going to add a couple of things onto this. I might add one of these. Which I've showed you how to make one of these before, but the other one we did, it had another loop on it. Well, you just do it, but you miss the loop and put a Kydex eyelet in, and that's like a little... Open it. A little, like a tub, what you can put stuff in. You can put matches and perhaps some water purifying tablets and stuff in there. Like a little mini survival kit. And I'm going to put that on the front of the knife, possibly there like that. I've also made a belt loop. But I did it so... That could be left hand carry. Or if you wanted to take it and turn it around, then that would be right hand carry. So you just undo the bolts, swap it over, and put it whatever size you want. And that's kind of how it is, like that. I might put some spacers in here so it comes out a little bit more. Not too much though. So I was quite pleased with that, how that came out. I 
and I did that for I think that's that would fit a one and a half inch belt in there all right so anyway on to the next part which is actually making it So that was the making of the Kydex sheaf. I'll finish this off and then we'll do some other videos about it. And I might do a video of how to make a belt loop or something. Alright, cheers for watching. I'll see you later.